I used to live my life like a side character in a movie. I would be so consumed with other people's opinions about me and let them rule my life. I would be lazy and waste my life away scrolling on social media. I would have the mindset that I can never amount to anything. I wouldn't put much effort into my self-care. I would never feel confident and my overall energy would just be low. Learning how to take control and become the main character of my story has completely changed my life. If you were a main character in a movie or book, how do you see yourself? What would you be doing every day? Being the main character to me it means living your day-to-day -day life for you focusing on being the best version of yourself not caring about anyone else's opinions and cutting out toxic people and things and ultimately romanticizing your everyday life today i'm gonna bring you guys along my day and show you guys a few things i do that help me become the main character and highest version of myself <laughs> morning you guys i just got to oxygen yoga and fitness about to do a workout class but the number one thing that i do to be the main character in my life is show up for myself every single day nobody in your life can make you priority but you and having control over that and being disciplined with yourself and sticking to your promises it really does make yourself feel validated and it makes yourself feel superior because if you make all these promises to yourself and you never keep them and you never follow through you're not you're never going to trust yourself and why would you feel like the main character why would you feel confident if you can't trust yourself every single relationship is based off of trust and you need a foundation of trust to build a good relationship just as important as it is like a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a friend as it is with yourself but actually more important showing up for myself every day makes the biggest difference in my confidence and in my ability to trust myself but yeah ever since i started doing that it has boosted and raised my confidence in life in general so much and it's honestly truly made me a better person in my day-to-day -day and more confident within who i am and how i show up for myself and it makes a bigger difference than you would think but Okay, let's go work out. Hey, come. Come. I gotta relax. Who I be got put in my cash. Now get some body if I can't get the crash. Fuck. I think the diesel my switch switch and it's water the diesel my ash. Body shot like Kim Kardashian. This thing is fast, they run like flash. Pass it to Stevie on water like Nash. Or this body don't let her get low. Yo, touch. This should have flow. Too many things I don't know what to roll. Keep it cheek I don't want to go. Couldn't doubt I'm tight. Try to get low to broke up back. They don't shoot, but they all run track. Put up on me, baby, won't come back. Had it, she got me back. Bitch, when is we fucking again? Think of the pussy, it's good, I'm a spread. But fucking could kick it the shot. She a two thing could talk about a whoop. Sit back, can't even talk. I can't help it, I stay in the store. Bitch, bitch, I'll be toying and crushing these. This is the point of the day where I feel so good and my hard work in the morning pays off. It is really hard for me to wake up at 5 a.m. to work out right away to do my whole wellness routine, but pushing myself to do it ultimately leads to me feeling like I'm on top of the world and that I can conquer anything in life because I'm challenging myself and it's so important to constantly challenge yourself in your life or you're never going to grow. Surrounding yourself with motivation is like having a constant source of energy. When you're immersed in a motivational environment, you're more likely to dream big, work hard, and achieve your goals. Motivation can come from people, it can come from books, it can come from videos. I like to at least do one thing a day that fuels my motivation, so today I'm reading a few chapters of my book, and it's something I've added into my routine that takes such little effort, but has a huge impact and ultimately helps me stay in that main character headspace and maintain that vibe. Find a source of motivation that you really love and start incorporating that into your life and i swear it'll make the biggest difference hey guys so i am currently just doing my makeup i wanted to show you guys some products that i have been loving for fall recently and that i have incorporated into my everyday makeup routine because personally for me when i wear good quality makeup that makes me feel really good and confident it puts me in that main character energy and i just feel like using makeup products that you love is so important and it makes you feel so good and confident so yeah i'm gonna finish off my face and show you guys a few products that i have been loving recently first off i'm gonna be going in with the essence lash and brow gel mascara 
always on the hunt for like a good quality but affordable eyebrow gel that I can use and this one is perfect because it doubles as both and it actually keeps my eyebrows up all day which is amazing but if you guys have never heard of essence before they are known for their affordable yet high quality makeup I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about them before because for the past like year or so I have been obsessed with their lip liner oh my goodness i have like 10 just laying around my house because i've bought so many and using this it almost feels like there's nothing like caked onto my brows it's really light but yet it still holds in comparison to my other eyebrow gels they feel just like really gluey on my face and like i can't really move my eyebrows around but this one is like light but it works so now i'm gonna go in with the essence baby got blush stick in the shade peaches and cream it's like a perfect warm tone look at how beautiful that color is I'm obsessed with blush. I can apply like 20 layers, but this stuff is actually pretty pigmented So I can't go too strong and then I'm just gonna kind of go in with my finger to blend that out Because I don't know why I just feel like blending with your finger gives a really nice natural effect and doesn't really wipe away any product Essence is a G beauty brand which means that they adhere to strict standards set forth by the EU cosmetic regulation And with that being said most of their products are clean. They do not have parabens alcohol oil, etc And they're also cruelty free which is amazing the thing is is i feel like it's really really hard or i haven't been able to find a really good drugstore cream blush this one is amazing so would definitely recommend if you guys are looking for one and it comes in a lot of different shades and it's just so cute i'm gonna go in with the essence lash princess mascara i am extremely picky with my mascara especially the wand but this one i love how it's so thin i feel like formulation is important with mascara but I almost feel like the brush is more important and this brush is amazing but look how good of a job that does it doesn't like clump up my lashes at all which a lot of mascaras do okay so now i'm gonna go in with the essence pure nude highlighter i'm just gonna take that on a little brush i love applying my highlighter with like a little mini brush like this so that it doesn't go everywhere on my face but i'm just gonna apply it to the high point i like how this highlighter isn't so extreme it doesn't like blind anybody so i like a more natural makeup look as you guys know so this is the essence soft and precise lip pencil you guys and this one is in the shade bold but they have so many different shades this is the one that i usually use as you can see it's tiny now because i use it like every day but this one is in the shade my choice and i'm going to be using bold today so they're pretty similar this one is just a little bit more pinky i would say if you guys don't use lip liner like rest in peace because you need to these lip liners are so affordable that's why i have like 15 of them and they're such good quality so the last product to finish off the look today is the essence extreme shine volume gloss and i'm just going to apply that But anyways, that is the final makeup look. All Essence products are under $15 and most of them are under $10. So they are so affordable, but they deliver. They give you the quality. And yeah, so if you guys want to shop any of these products or any of Essence products, they are available to shop at Shoppers Drug Mart. So next time you're there take a look at them but as you guys can see i really love just doing a natural makeup look every day i don't like going too far and beyond just because that's not me but this is what makes me feel like the most in my main character energy the most confident and it's what makes me feel the best makeup i feel like is so powerful and especially if you love to wear makeup and it makes you feel good the products you use the way they make you feel is so important playing into you being the main character in your life but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed that cute little makeup look. Okay, so I just got dressed for the day and I just want to talk about this point because it's so important. What you wear really plays into how you're going to feel and how confident you're going to be in your day-to-day -day life. For me personally, wearing matching sweatsuits when it's fall and winter and going out and running errands just makes me feel so good. It makes me feel like me. I just feel like the baddest bitch in the world when I have a cute matching sweatsuit on. I'm comfy. I feel good, look good, but it's all mental. Because I feel so good in a matching sweatsuit, I just end up looking so put together and I end up looking good because I have the confidence when I wear sweatpants. And so it could be the complete opposite for you. If you like dressing up more and you feel like shit wearing sweatpants or sweatsuit, 
then dress up more often. Clothes are going to make everybody feel different and clothes are such a good way to express ourselves and to make us feel confident. Even if you don't want to dress how the rest of society dresses, but that makes you feel confident, then that's all that matters. You don't have to follow any trends. You don't have to buy a million things for you to look good. All that matters is that you, you feel confident in what you're wearing and essentially that's going to give off such a strong vibe. Clothes do more for our mental than we actually think that they do and so think about that next time you're getting ready for your day don't think about what your mom wants you to wear don't think about what your friends are going to wear think about okay when i'm going to this occasion let's say you're going to go get a coffee what's going to make you emanate the best vibes and what's going to make you feel the best getting that coffee it's not going to be trying to copy what your friends are going to wear put on an outfit that makes you feel good 90 percent of the time when i go somewhere and i don't feel comfortable there it's because of what i'm wearing and I'm like, okay, why did I wear this? I don't even feel comfortable in it. And yes, it is good to take like risks with your fashion. That is important. But at the same time, it's like by a certain point, you should know your boundaries and, and how to dress yourself to make you feel the best. I feel like we also do live in a very materialistic world and we're just in a, a very materialistic era right now where there's new things to buy at every second. It's like, okay, you can buy like a really trendy piece of clothing, but are you really gonna love wearing it are you gonna really wear it all the time that's why like personally i'm not trying to feed into buying like the new best thing because it's like i already know and i already have so many staples in my closet of what i know makes me feel good to wear and what i feel really confident and cute wearing so don't always jump to the newest trends just because other people are doing it if you're not going to feel confident wearing whatever that trend is you know like, look at pieces in your closet and get rid of stuff that you don't feel confident wearing get rid of stuff that doesn't feel like you and it'll make you feel so much better that's what i try to do every like, few months or every season is go through my clothes and get rid of stuff that is just like past version of myself that doesn't make me feel confident anymore or things that just i like, don't vibe with anymore and then you're, you can make your closet like a constant state of just good clothes that make you feel good it will emanate positive energy every time you open it and you'll be excited to pick out an outfit for the day you could just tell when i'm out even if somebody's outfit is really out there i could tell when people just like strut their strut and are so confident in what they're wearing like it's just a vibe that you can really get off of somebody and i just love it so much anyways so yeah i got on a cute little just an all black matching sweatsuit it's really plain okay it doesn't have to do anything extravagant but it makes me feel just so put together confident and cute so a nice sweatsuit does it for me personally Hi, no problem. Can I please get a grande pumpkin cream cold brew? Yeah, of course. And is it possible I can get the cold foam made with oat milk instead? Yeah. Awesome. Yes. You got anything else for you today? That's all. Thank you so much. Oh Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. So I haven't gone to Starbucks in, I'm pretty sure, like, I don't know, the last time I vlogged it, but. Bef even before that i haven't gotten it in like months because of my new diet i'm trying to stay away from as much like processed refined sugar as possible just because my eczema and since i've been doing that like cutting out dairy cutting out gluten my skin has not been better so i'm trying to stick to it but like i'm also not trying to develop like a bad relationship with food so this is a little cheat for me because sugar but like it's fine i'm not gonna get mad at myself for it and i just like really was craving one especially before they take all the fall drinks away and transfer to christmas drinks which is actually crazy because it's gonna be happening soon but anyway so this is what I got. I got a grande pumpkin cream cold brew with oat milk cold foam. I'm not even supposed to be having like oats or oat milk because that's like a skin trigger. But I don't really like Starbucks's almond milk, so it's okay. It's just a little bit of oat milk won't hurt me. I love cold brew and it's also a little bit easier on my stomach. But anyway, so while we're in the car, I wanted to chat with you guys about another thing that I do that helps me feel like the main character of my life to not care and not give a shit about what anybody thinks of you a few years ago especially when i was in high school i would revolve my life around other people's opinions and their thoughts about me and how i was perceived and i would let that rule my life I would do things just so that I would be perceived as normal and so that people would like me 
and I was like the opposite of being my true self because I cared so much about what everybody else thought of me. I wasn't even living my life for myself, I was living my life for other people. That does not give main character energy because main character energy is doing what you want to do in your life regardless of other people's opinions. And once that switch kind of flipped in me, I kind of had to fake it a little bit until I made it because obviously if you care about what other people think of you, it's really hard to just like snap your fingers and let that go but i'm telling you once you make the conscience effort to stop caring about what other people think of you it's like a snowball effect and one day you're gonna be like wow like i really actually don't care about what other people think of me anymore and it's like i would even hold back myself from posting youtube videos in high school because i didn't want to get made fun of like i remember i posted a video this girl found it then she brought it up to me and i got so embarrassed because i cared so much about everything that i deleted everything shut it down and it's like i would have started my youtube channel years before i did if i didn't care about other people's opinions but i was too scared to do that because my head was just wrapped around what other people thought of me and it held me back in life if i still lived that life today and i still cared about other people's opinions i wouldn't even have a youtube channel because i kind of broke that boundary because i don't care about what other people think of me that is why i'm able to post these youtube videos that is why i'm able to post on my instagram story and i would just be so shy to do anything and uh, yeah i used to also be a shy person and i feel like that really plays into caring about what other people think of you is if you're shy and i used to be really shy but now i would consider myself as like a very social outgoing person like i'm not really shy at all but that also plays into just me being myself around people and not caring about what they think and especially when you're in like a new group of people like put yourself to that test like after you hang out with a new group of people how did you act like it's kind of interesting to see your own behavior and that's a little test to see like oh did i stick to like my normal thoughts or did i adjust my behavior because i was hanging out with new people so i can blend in with them more because there's people and i used to do this too in high school where like depending on who i would hang out with i would adjust my personality to conform to them so that they would like me more and that is just so side character energy we want to be in our main character energy and now i can really say that no matter who i'm talking to no matter who i'm with i don't really need to alter myself because i'm confident in who i am that's it at the end of the day i don't care about what other people think about me high school me would be so surprised that i'm posting youtube videos just not caring what other people think and it's all a mindset shift like i said i had to fake it until i made it because it's hard but like you just have to kind of tune it out if you ever think of what other people are thinking of you just like completely block it out and be like why do like why do you care when you die and when you're on your deathbed are you really gonna care what nancy thought of your instagram post no you don't, you're not even gonna remember who nancy was so when you think about it that way it's like life is way too short to hold yourself back based on what other people think of you and this is going for all decisions in your life do what makes you happy and that's all that matters at the end of the day as long as you're not harming anybody else and then that translates into you being the main character and you having that main character energy and really just living your life to your fullest potential being the highest version of yourself just have confidence in yourself be authentically weird own it and be weird in front of everybody because that's you and you don't want to hide who you truly are the mindset of not caring about what other people think of me has really really changed my life and i wouldn't be where i'm at today without altering my mindset about that because i wouldn't even have a youtube channel so yeah i could say that that really did change my life and i feel like the main character every day because i would i do whatever i want that's it so if you're gonna take one tip away from this video make it be this one because it's what impacted my life the most and really has made me the main character of my life because if you're living your life for somebody else you're just a side character in other people's lives you know you're not really actually living your own life so cheers to that this pumpkin cream folder is actually so good i haven't had it in forever the smell and feeling of a clean house just has main character written all over it it's more than just tidiness it's about creating a space that resonates with good energy and that you can feel superior in a clean house is like a blank canvas for your well-being it helps so much to have a clutter-free mind and a sense of calm when our surroundings are in order we can focus on what truly matters in life it's crazy how much having a messy place can lead to a cluttered mind. For me, the act of cleaning is more than just a chore. It's kind of like a form of self-care. It's 
an investment in my mental and emotional well-being. I notice a direct correlation in my mood and how my energy feels with the cleanliness of my house. I like to do a deep clean about every week, but a little decluttering and upkeep every day. It doesn't even have to take much. You can just designate like 10 minutes a day to tidy your room or your house. And I swear it makes the biggest difference. And personally, it just makes me feel like I have control over my life because I'm not worried about my house being a mess. And the best feeling to me is having a clean house, lighting a few candles, and setting the vibe. It really just puts me in the best headspace and sets me up for the rest of my day. so i just washed my face and i'm all ready for bed and i just feel amazing i've started to kind of use this gua shot every day to be honest i don't know exactly how to use it but i just kind of go in like these motions you can watch a video like search up a tiktok or something i used to never do skincare like a consistent skincare routine but once i started let me tell you it makes me feel like the main character doing self-care and i don't even do anything extravagant every night i don't do face masks often but just even doing like my everyday skincare feels like I'm pampering myself and it's the best feeling and it makes me feel like I'm just taking care of myself. So whether you put together like a two-step skincare routine or a 10-step skincare routine, whatever works for you, I feel like it just really feels nice at the end of the day to know that you're really keeping up your hygiene and being hygienic and everything just makes me really feel good. <laughs> you know what I mean? I hope you guys enjoyed. I have been sick all week. So... I couldn't film a regular week in my life video so I thought that I would do this video because I don't know I just felt called to do it and I feel like it was a perfect week to do it since I couldn't really film my week so I was sick on the couch but let me know any videos you guys want to see going forward if you like my week in the life videos or I film Monday to Friday if you want to see more shorter videos let me know in the comments down below I would really appreciate your guys' feedback but yeah I truly feel like I was once not the main character in my life and now I feel like I truly am and it's like one of the best feelings because being the main character is just a term for it but it's basically just being confident and feeling like you're the best version of yourself so whatever that looks like for you you could do whatever you set your mind to I feel like all the time we think of things like oh I want to be this I want to be that but then we just put like this mental block on ourselves that we can't do it but it's like why couldn't you do it <laughs> like as long as you take baby steps to get there every single day you will eventually get there it's just important to really stay consistent and work on it every day you'll start seeing results over time it's like going to the gym if you go to the gym for a month you can't expect to lose 50 pounds but every single day that action compounds and then you eventually actually accomplish your goals over time because of those compounding little actions that you do every day. So yeah, the little actions that you take towards things really do add up and they do matter. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys next week. Love you guys.